Friends, let us look at another sonnet of Shakespeare. We know that Shakespeare's sonnets are generally not titled. The first line of the sonnet is taken as a title, or otherwise, we consider the sonnets through the numbers that he used. One another important sonnet is sonnet number two, titled as When Party Winters Shall Besiege Thy Brook. The first line, When Party Winters Shall Besiege Thy Brook, is considered as a title of the sonnet. This sonnet number two is an exploration of another way of describing the youth and old age within the circle of a friendship that poet has exhibited. The central idea of the sonnet is friendship, youth and old age. The poet who dedicated the sonnet to his friend, especially to those friends like Earl of Pembroke or Earl of Southampton with whom he had a close relation, come to his mind when he write these sonnets, though specifically they are not mentioned in the sonnets. Generally, they are the background to the sonnets, whether it is beauty or youth or charm that is described in Shakespeare's sonnets, basically have those personalities at the background. When party winters shall besiege thy bro, and dig deep trenches into thy beauty's field, thy youth's proud livery, so gazed on now, will be a tottered weed of small worth held. These are the beginning lines of the sonnet. Very significant they are. They almost seem to be an expression of a doubt and half willingness and half confidence in the poet when he thinks of the youth and beauty of his friend. When party winters shall besiege thy bro and dig deep trenches in thy beauty's field, thy youth's proud livery so gazed on now will be a tottered weed of small worth head. Up to forty years of age, any man or woman seem to be very vibrant, enthusiastic, youthful and beautiful. But once a person crosses the age of party, all the signs of decay of beauty and youth are obviously seen. It is a natural question and effort to convince his friend that if his friend doesn't marry, doesn't continue his generation, reproducing his successors, he will be sidelined and will be ignored because his energy, his physical charm or his virility will decay after 40 years. Once a person reaches 40 years of age, all his beauty, that charm or his so-called beauty is filled that is cheek and dimples on the face, which can be called as beauty's field, will slowly wither. And this beauty's field or dimples on the cheek are considered as a proud liver or like a beautiful cloth that a person wears on his body. Such a beautiful livery or beautiful dress that is expressed through his dimples on the face will disappear and the moment they disappear and cause a sorrow or unhappiness in his life, nobody will come to his rescue. That is why the poet tries to convince his friend indirectly saying that before that age passes by. He should think of marrying 
एंड कंटिन्यूइंग हिज फैमिली बाय हैविंग सक्सेसेस एंड पोइट कंटिन्यूइंग हिज एक्सप्रेशन सेज दैट इफ द फ्रेंड इज एबल टू सक्सीड विथ हिज मैरिज एंड प्रोड्यूस ए चाइल्ड ऑल हिज ब्यूटी विल कम बैक इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दैट चाइल्ड द चाइल्ड एस ए सक्सेसर will definitely make the people think that his own beauty is in the form of that child or it is transferred to that child or a new born baby and that is why poet says that proving his beauty by succession thine this were to a new maid when thou art old and see thy blood warm when thou feels it could even though his friend becomes old even though his youth is lost and the warm blood is cold it is in the form of that newborn baby that the same old blood will be vigorous and charming the whole world will think that the friend is reborn through the child with the same beauty and same charm that is why old age should be considered a significant aspect of life when one is young before one crosses that age one should marry and have his successes otherwise the deep sunken eyes will prove that the energy or enthusiasm of the youth is lost and to retain that proud livery or what poet considers that youthful charming energetic life of a person should always be felt in the form of a new generation also the vocabulary that poet uses is very significant the beauty is felt and trenches or proud livery beauty is felt youth's proud livery tottered weed etc are very significant if once the charm is lost and if one expresses that old age it is like a tottering nature of a person and person will seem to be helpless before the friend reaches that stage of helplessness he should think of continuing his family through his marriage and child the poet as he expresses doubt and worry also thinks of building confidence and hope in the friend in the form of convincing him to think of marrying and get married soon that will make the poet feel very happy and will all his say hopes come to reality that is why poet repeatedly tries to make the friend understand the significance of the continuation or succession of his life through the child and giving birth to a child by marrying before he loses that charm or before the age of 40 thank you